Stephanie Marco. Welcome to WGC. I'm going to do a wonderful Kundalini Pranayam, easy, fast morning practice for you. Pranayam is great in the morning. It rebalances you, it gets you ready for the day, it opens up these great channels in your body. Um, and we're going to do a few different types of breath that can just really help you get started. Um, these practices are in the white tantric um, division of tantra and um, they're really essential for building a spiritual practice and expanding consciousness as well as opening different meridians in the body to move energy. So if you're inter interested in tantric practices, you can come to that tantra life for more and work with me. Um, but these are some really beautiful basics to start your day and to start your practice of Tantra. The first thing we're going to do is just come into an easy seated position. You can do this in a chair. Um, you can do this um, sitting on your knees. You can do this in bed, but just want to sit up and make sure your spine is nice and straight and that your chest is opened. And the first thing we're going to do is just get present and create a sacred space by taking a nice, intentional, deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. The chest is open, the shoulders are relaxed, upward and back, spine is straight, eyes are gazing in at the third eye point when we close them. And you're just breathing gently, dropping your conscious thoughts and inviting your infinite intelligence to come forward as we do these practices with the utmost consciousness. And the hand movement um, for this first set of breaths are we take the thumb to the right nostril, the index and middle finger to the third eye point and the pinky and ring finger will close the left nostril. And we're going to always start by holding down the right nostril and emptying the left nostril completely with an exhaling breath, slowly and gently. And our first series of breaths, we will inhale through the left nostril Close the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through the left nostril. And do this nine times. So that was number one. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left, Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. <laughs> Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale 
and how right. Exhale left. Keep going. The benefit of this breath is about balancing the masculine and feminine energy. I can give you a lot more detail about this. Um, if you go to Facebook and follow me, I have a number of workshops on balancing the masculine and feminine. Our left and right sides are representing these energies and when we concentrate on them through our breath, we circulate the energy in a new way, getting out of thought and getting more into intuition. So keep going. Until you've done all nine, The next breath that I love to do is just a simple left nostril breath. This is a great breath in the morning or in the evening. I don't recommend most of these breaths for evening practice, but this one actually can be done on morning or evening hours or even in the middle of the day. You're simply breathing through the left nostril. And the simple act of breathing through the left nostril really puts us into our feminine space, which is intuition, being able to receive, receiving messages, receiving those little whispers. If you're feeling like your mind is racing or that you're re reacting from the ego mind, it's a nice way to settle you into a more calm and more receptive mode. Doing this breath nine times. Once you've completed, you can relax. The next breath that really fires me up for my day is breath of fire with Ego Eradicator. So Ego Eradicator is a really great short Kriya and you can do it for a minute, you can do it for three minutes, you can do it for five minutes, you can do it for 11 minutes, you can do it for 22 minutes, you can do it for 33 minutes um, and beyond. And what's so amazing about this breath is that it purifies the body, it purifies toxins from the blood uh, it shifts your consciousness very quickly. It puts you into a state of awareness um, and being also able to act from that awareness. So the way we do breath of fire is it's an equal inhalation and exhalation with a pumping belly. So it kind of looks like this from the side. And we're going to breathe through the nose. This is sometimes done through the mouth. It's sometimes done with just a natural breath and only pumping, which is quite common. Um, but in Kundalini Yoga, we make a practice of doing it with nose breathing engaged. So be gentle with yourself 
I tend to move a bit quicker. Um, I find speed to be a little bit more comfortable for me because I've mastered this to some degree. Um, but if you're new, you can just find a slower rhythm. And if you focus on the exhaled breath, the inhale will come right quite naturally. And it should be an equal inhalation exhalation. But if you focus on the inhale breath, what can sometimes happen if you're a beginner is that you start to hyperventilate a bit and get dizzy and that's not what we want. So I find it's nice to tell beginning students, focus on the exhale. The inhale will come naturally. And we're gonna combine this now into a one minute ego eradicator, taking the fingertips to the pads of the hands, over the head, thumbs pointed inward, creating your arc line through your breath of fire. Begin. Inhale, bring the thumbs touching overhead, suspend the breath, holding it, holding it and stretching up, bringing the breath all through the body, up the spine, up the spine, sucking in a bit more air if you need to, bringing it up, bringing it up, and exhaling the hands wide through the aura, tracing it around you like a circle, gently touching the ground, feeling the sacred space of protection that you've created, inviting your intuition to guide you. And the last breath I love to do is my one, four, two breath. So what we do is we bring the hands to our elbows and we do a count of five. I, I start with a count of five. We hold for 20 above our heads and then we exhale for 10. So it's one, four, uh, sorry, one, four, two. Um, so you can do that in any amount of way you want. You can do it for two, then hold for 10, then exhale for five. Um, but I like to do five counts up, hold for 20, 10 down. And so let's just naturally do that. Beginning here, inhaling, one, two, three, four, five. When we reach our forehead, holding for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, expanding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Two more times. Hold for 20.
exhale, 10. Last time. Hold 20. Exhale, 10. I hope you've enjoyed this great way to energize your breath before you start your day. If you like what you see, please subscribe below or leave some comments. For more, you can follow me at that Tantra Life on Instagram or Steph underscore Marco. I'm Stephanie Marco with WGC Satnam.